Bye friend, I'm coming to you with another update here from Loudon Hall this time, and this update is about returning to in-person worship. So in the middle of two Saturdays of vision work being done by the session, which is our Board of Elders, we made a decision about returning to in-person worship. And the decision itself was whether or not to move to a new phase of church life to phase two. We're in phase one now, should we move to phase two? Well, in phase two, not only do we allow for more usage of the building spaces for groups and classes, but we also return to in-person worship. And so here's what we decided. We decided to move into phase two effective Sunday, August 30th. And that means that after 25 weeks without in-person worship services, those who are ready are invited to return beginning that day. Now, right away that raises questions, and I want to answer a few of those questions. But do see the link that is along with this message for a fuller list of questions and answers. The first thing to address is the Sunday morning schedule. What will the in-person Sunday morning schedule be? Well, beginning August 30th, Sunday morning in-person worship services will be the, at the same times as the Sunday morning online only services have been during the shutdown. We'll have one classic service, only one, from the sanctuary at 9 a.m. followed by one, the one classic or the one vine service here in Loudon Hall at 10:30 a.m. I want to make sure you hear that one classic service on Sunday morning, not two. Now we're not saying that's how it will stay long term. We haven't gotten there yet. That's just how it will be as we return to in-person worship. Well, beside the in-person Sunday morning schedule, the second thing to address is the online services themselves. And let me say this as clearly as I can. If you do not feel comfortable returning to in-person gatherings for any reason at all, do not come. We will continue to provide online worship services in the same way that we have been providing them for the last six months. 9 a.m. classic service, 10.30 Vine service. Both of them full services on YouTube, Facebook, Roku, on our website. All of that will continue the same as it has been. I know that some have felt like maybe it's because you're opening up I should be there, but I'm a little bit nervous. And I would say to you, don't come if you are nervous. We have got you covered with the online service. We're going to continue that. This decision to return to in-person service uh, was for the rest who are ready to return. We are providing an in-person option for them. Finally, know that we have talked at length about health and safety for gatherings, and we have a plan of action. All of the cleaning protocols before and after worship services, they're all going to be in place. We have set the spaces for socially distanced seating. Uh, you know already that the city has a mask organ ordinance in place. Hand sanitizers are everywhere as they have been all along. And again, uh, take a look at some of the uh, other links provided along with this video for more uh, information. Or you can just give us a call or contact one of us. But know this, I am so happy to be able to see some of you again in person in worship. And for the rest, I can't wait to see you again. But until then, I'll see you online. Know that God loves you, and so do I.